Hey there, Hornets. This is your Edina High School counseling team coming at you to talk to you about a really cool college search tool in Naviance called the Supermatch. Uh, we do have some objectives for today's video. Um, here is some knowledge that you can expect to uh, walk away with. First, I want to show you how to um, set up an appointment with a counselor, a school social worker, or a school psychologist. Second, I'm going to show you how to access your Naviance account and how to use the Supermatch tool. Last, I'm going to show you how to build a Colleges I'm Thinking About list on Naviance. This is an easy way for you to organize crucial information about colleges you may want to pursue in the future. We have a super easy way to set up a one-on-one -on -one virtual meeting with your counselor or chosen member of the EHS support staff. Use this link to access our student services meeting website. This link is also on the main page of each grade level Schoology group. Now I want to quickly demonstrate our appointment scheduling website. You can select the person you want to meet with and the program will show you their availability for the next two weeks. Once you select the time that works, uh, you will have to fill out some additional info and answer a few questions. The meeting will automatically populate on your counselor, social worker, or psychologist schedule. We will reach out to you directly after you schedule an appointment to provide you with a Google meeting link. Now, in the middle of your 11th grade year, there is a lot you can do to plan for college and life after high school in general. To best prepare yourself for what's coming next, you should be taking a course load in which you find academic success, but also challenge yourself appropriately. And you know, you should also be building strong relationships with your teachers, your counselor, your coaches, peers, and family. That list can go on. But these are the people who support you through your post-secondary planning journey. You can also start think of, thinking about doing some virtual college visits or meet with admissions reps when they set up virtual meetings with EHS students. I'm going to include a link to a video tutorial on how to do that in the description of this YouTube video. Okay, be thinking about what you want your post-secondary experiences to look like. There are thousands of colleges in the U.S. Heck, we have students who apply to a lot of schools outside the U.S. too. There are gap year programs and military service, technical programs, trade apprenticeships. Again, the list goes on and on. You are a unique and singular human with your own set of hopes and dreams and expectations for yourself. We are here to support you on your journey no matter what route you choose to pursue. And for the sake of today's lesson, let's uh, get into your Navia into the Naviant Supermatch. This tool allows you, a high school student, to rectify your interests and expectations for a college experience and provides you with a list of potential school matches. First, I'm gonna need you to log into your student portal and then select the Naviance tile. All right, folks. So let's dig into this Naviance Supermatch tool. So as you'll see on the screen, this is a demo account for an 11th grade student's Naviance account. So the first thing you want to do is click Colleges at the top and then Colleges Home. This is kind of our landing page for um, all things post-secondary planning related. So ranging from researching colleges to um, of applying for scholarships, college visits that are coming, and uh, later on, and you'll learn this later, how you request transcripts and letters of recommendation. So it's pretty important to get used to it. You'll, you'll be here if you're applying to a four-year college after high school. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is click on this Supermatch tool in the upper left. The Supermatch integrates information, or re I guess requires a user to put in information in eight different categories, ranging from location to athletics on a particular campus. Uh, it will save information from time to time that you've logged in. So if you don't have the time to go through it with a ton of nuance at the beginning, that's okay. You can come back to it later. For instance, I, I played around in here a little bit and I've got some um, search criteria already in and it's already drawing a list. So essentially you go, you go topic by topic and you answer the questions and then it actually scores colleges based on how you're responding. So for the sake of, of this demonstration, I had selected um, Northeastern states in the United States and Minnesota. Um, and you can actually pick by region, and then you can also pick like campus surroundings. Do you want in a large city, small city? So these are some of the criteria for location. Academics, I selected four year, a four year bachelor's degree. Um, and then specifically, I want to find schools that have a major in advertising. So you can get pretty nuanced here and be in like organizational psychology or um, engineering, mechanical engineering. You can get very specific. 
uh, and you can continue to kind of work across this top row. And as you do that, it will score colleges. And I think this is a really helpful tool to find a good fit college, right? It's not just about name. Um, or I should say, it's not about the name on the sweatshirt. It's about the person inside. So this allows you to kind of think holistically about what your post-secondary goals are and what your needs are, not just your wants, your needs. And it uh, will kind of bring some schools to your in uh, to your mind's eye, right? Okay, so let's say there's a school and you want to learn more about it. Go ahead and click favorite. This will add a school to the colleges I'm thinking about list. One of your major goals or, or what we hope for you this year is that you are doing research and trying to find a, the colleges that are a good or the colleges that are good fits, right? So every time that you're um, thinking about a college, we really encourage you to build this list called the colleges I'm thinking about list. I'm back in under colleges home and then it's up on the upper right and it says colleges I'm thinking about. Boom. Now, why do you want to do this? It puts a bunch of really helpful information in one place. Um, again, this is a demo account. So these are schools that I've added throughout the years just to kind of show. But the first thing to notice is when you've got a school listed, it shows how you apply to that institution. If there's a CA inside of this like computer monitor icon, that means that the school is on Common App. And that's one way that you can apply to the school. The other thing that's really nice is you can go ahead and click uh, or you can see application deadlines. Of course, you're in the middle of your junior year. You might not be thinking yet about what your timeline is to apply, but it is kind of nice to think ahead about what your late summer, early fall could look like um, because a lot of these schools will have deadlines as early as October 15th, October 1st. Most schools, their early deadlines are going to be in the November 1st range. Now, what is something else that's cool about Naviance? You can actually pick out a school. Um, for this case, I'm just going to do Arizona State since it's the first one. You can open it up and it will show you a bunch of information about that college. One thing that I think is super duper helpful is if you click this admissions tab for a particular college, it will pull in local at, um, like Edina information. So it'll show you this uh, scattergram, this graph, and it's five years worth of data. So each data point is a student who's applied to that institution and gotten either they've gotten admitted um, which would be a green check mark, or they've been denied, which is a red X. I think this is a really powerful way to um, look at your list and be really pragmatic and intentional about um, deciding whether or not a school would be kind of on the reachier side, or would it be a school that you would expect admission? All right, so to sum up today's presentation, we taught you about the Supermatch college search tool, and we talked a little bit about the power of the colleges I'm thinking about list. So make sure that you get into your Naviance and play around. This is a really helpful way to start your college exploration. Uh, if you want to find this presentation, again, it's going to be on your Schoology page. Um, we, If you go to the Dinah High School website, we also list it under our class of 20 whatever page, so you'll select your graduating class. We also put it on Naviance under the About Me section. If you click About Me and then Tasks Assigned to Me, you'll find this uh, video and all other advisory, advisory lessons that we've made over the years as you've been in high school. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Edina Counselors. Have a great day, Hornets.